talking about going through menopause. I thought you said that difficult. I thought you said my husband made it quite difficult. <laughs> Dream with me, let your mind explore all the things we Morning, guys. Were Happy Friday. It is Friday, and I am making my coffee before work. That keeps us reaching out for more. See y'all probably um, doing lunch. Hey guys, it's lunch time. It's lunch time. It's lunch time. What will I eat for lunch? Oh Jesus! Oh. Uh, let's see what we have for to eat. It is nice today. Supposed to be like up in the 80s. This morning it was quite chilly here, y'all. Don't mind my house. I am actually uh, washing sheets. My husband actually put them in the wash machine this morning, but let's see. Feels good out. It feels good out. This is the sky today after the storm. Feels really, really good. It's quiet still. I think I hear a couple of hammers in the construction zone. But as far as the weather, it feels really good out. So, don't have much time. Oh, I wonder how's my tree. Let's take a look. I forgot about the tree. Oh <laughs> no. Little Dio has is over in the grass. We're gonna have to pick him back up. Sai is still strong and um didn't um 
lean too much but that one it did so we're gonna have to fix that um, yeah so that's what we have people that's what we have so let's see what we're gonna eat like this door okay so let's see what we're gonna eat y'all i don't know i ate my brussels sprouts yesterday so i don't think i have any more brussels sprouts mm. this is probably no good this broccoli and cheddar soup as far as October 7th, so it still is, it still is okay for right now. I do have some salmon. I actually um, have some leftover salmon that I had for dinner yesterday, but I don't want it. I do have an apple here. I think I'm gonna eat my apple, but let's see what we get in the pantry. Ouch. Let's see what we get in the pantry. I got some oatmeal I can eat for breakfast. I mean, for lunch. I don't know. I don't know what I want. I don't know what I want. You know? So I guess I have my apple. Yeah, I'm gonna eat my apple for lunch. So do y'all have any plans for today? For Friday, for the weekend? It's Friday. Um, I don't have any plans for the weekend. I think a lot of people is like in recovery mode and will be getting things back to normal, as normal as they can get it. Some people, some people lost a lot. I don't know if we're going to go up to Orlando this weekend or what we're going to do. Probably not much. I love hard apples. Oh my God. I like the best. And for some reason, I only like the gala apples. I have tried like so many different apples and I haven't found any that taste as good as gala. I like the right sweetness, especially when you get them cold and hard. Oh my God, they're like the best. So this is what I'm having for lunch. And then I'll drink some water. So I was listening to the radio. And so I was listening to the radio. And the, one of the conversations that they had on there was right now, right at this moment, uh, they was talking about right now in this moment, what is broken in your house? Something is broken in everybody's house. And what is broken in your house right now? So in my house, what is broken right now is my TV console. The My husband was supposed to be fixing it, y'all, and it's still broke. So although we got a replacement for it, but we chose to just keep this one in the house since it was already here. But the handle, when you pull it, you gotta kinda like lift it up to open it. So it's broken. In my old house, oh my God, it was so much broken in there. But, but what is broken in your house right now? Like is a door broke, the alarm, the security, I mean the fire detector, does it go off all the time? What is broken in your house right now? 
Because there's something broken. So what is it? Comment down below and let me know what's broken in your house. Now, let's talk about it, sis. Sis, what is going on in your house right now that is broken? I'm trying to think. Is there anything that I can think of that is broken in my house right now? Other than that, TV console. My tree in the back. A little deal is broken that we're going to have to fix. I'm leaning it back up. Those are two things around my house that is broken right now at this moment. Do y'all eat like a full lunch for lunch? Like sandwiches or salads or leftovers. Speaking of leftovers, I hate leftovers. It gotta be something I really, really, really like in order to eat it the next day for leftovers. I like my salmon, but like I'm kind of tired of it. I choose not to eat it for lunch today, although I had it for dinner yesterday. I'm like, you know what? I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want it for lunch. But like if I go to the restaurant and I order something that I didn't finish and then I'll have it for lunch. Or like I said, something that I really, really, really like, like holiday meals or something like that. I'm not a huge fan to eat leftovers, but <clears throat> I will eat them. Just depends on what it is. One thing I can't eat leftovers of, and I've tried, I'm like leftover pizza. It's like the crust is always not, not good or in the same form. You know, like when you first get it, it's so nice and fresh, but after you warm it up, it's never like that. And I always warm mine up in the refrigerator, I mean in the microwave. I don't know if there's a difference. It's like you take the time to warm it up in the microwave. I mean in the oven, which I've never done that. I don't like pizza warmed up. I have eaten it warmed up, but I don't like it. Usually on Fridays, because I get off work early, I really don't eat big big lunches. Cause I'm like, I'm getting off in a little while and I'll probably be eating something. So normally on Fridays, I eat something light anyway. I did have um, some skinny popcorn for a snack at lunch. And those, that is like a hundred calories. It's just like the little bit. So I ate that. And then for lunch, I'm eating this. And then when I go back to work, I'll only have an hour and a half. So I'll be getting off soon. I don't know what we got planned for this evening. I know my husband said he's gonna take the um, the um, shutters off the house. As y'all can see, the shutters are still up to the windows. If you can see the back, you see that light. And then we got the shutters over there. So, and don't mind the pillows that are on the sofa because those pillows are for the bedroom in there so i just um took them off because i wash my sheets and stuff so when i get off work i will when i get off work i'll make my bed up and put up the pillows and then um i don't know what else i'm gonna do after i make my bed up i actually wash my rugs i would clean up today but it's just one of those days i just do not feel like cleaning up after work it's like you know what i like to clean up first thing in the morning no matter what day it is i like to do it first thing in the morning typically i clean up my house on saturday mornings when i get up and during the week i just don't have the energy i think i could if i had to but I like getting it up and getting up and um, cleaning it up first thing in the morning. I hate doing something and then coming back and then taking it on. It's like, no. That's why I hate to leave out the home and then come back home and you have to clean up. It's like, oh, I should have did this before I left. But yeah, so I love to clean up first thing in the morning. Are y'all like that? Do y'all clean up like the first thing in the morning or do you get up and run your errands, do everything? And then come back and clean up. Now, if it's a storm brewing or something is going on that I have to go out, then I'll do that. And then come back and clean up. Which I've done that plenty of times. When like a storm is coming, especially in Chicago, like when it be a snowstorm, it's like, ah. Oh. And um, I will have to get up early in the morning and then go to the grocery store, get everything, and then get back in the house before it start. But yeah, so I've done that. I've done it here especially if we have to like run an errand early Saturday morning or do something Saturday morning. I get up and do what I have to do in there, come back and clean up, but I hate that. Uh, my phone is ringing. I prefer to do it. I prefer to do it first thing in the morning. Let's see. This is my husband, y'all. Yeah. Hello? Hey, how's yes. everything? Okay. It's your, uh, I forgot to get that number. Yeah, I'm on lunch now. 
Give me one second, let me potty and then I'll get it for you. All right, just take your time, okay? You call for you. Hold on one second, Chucky. I'm about to use the washroom on myself. Hold on. No, I thought call me back. Oh, girl. Is it just me or is it like the older I get, the more my bladder get weaker? It's like <laughs> when I got to use it, I got to use it. I cannot wait. I'm just like, oh, my God. Let me send my husband this information really, really, really quick. But yeah, it's crazy, y'all. Before I used to can hold my urine. Now, sure as what? When your girl gotta go, I gotta go. So yeah. So um, yeah. So I'm gonna go back. What time is it? It's actually 12:23. I got seven minutes. So. Get ready to get back to work. Uh, I guess I need some more water. I got a vitamin D complete, but um, I haven't taken it yet. So, I usually drink two of these at work, and then I drink two more when I get off work. So, this is the 20. Uh, 23 fluid ounces and this is the good and plenty alkaline water 9.5 pH that I drink I was putting it in my water bottle but which is right here y'all remember this one well I still have it so normally I will put it in here and drink it from here but I'm like you know what it saved me time to just Take it and just drink it. That's good if I'm going somewhere. But around the house, I'm like, why wash, why, why mess up a dish when I don't have to, right? So, throw this one in the garbage. And I got popcorn right here. That would be me because I the one who ate it. Okay. I got my other water. And we're gonna go back to work now. Going back to work, going back to work. What time is it? 12.25, I got five minutes. So I'll talk to y'all when I get off work. Oh guys, the sun is, is, is bright. I'm actually getting ready to go with my husband really, really quick. I am editing a video. I'm like, what's that noise? Something on his car, his truck. So I am um, editing a video. And it is beautiful outdoors. Really, really, really nice. So, okay, people took it down their shutters. It is right. Which car are you taking? You want me to drive? Yeah. Oh, we get that. So it's quite warm, y'all. It is quite warm. It's quite warm, so this is my first time out since the hurricane came. And yeah. I don't know what we're gonna eat, but whatever it is, I will let y'all know. So hopefully I can get that video edited and get it up there tonight because I have so much footage <laughs> to edit and get up. Hopefully I can get everything up. Uh, but yeah, that's where we're at right now, y'all. That's what I'm doing. Editing, 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 editing after work. I see some people, my husband just started taking down our shutters. Some people have begun to take down their shutters. The people next door, I mean, across the street didn't take theirs down. Next door, they haven't taken them down. <clears throat> I don't know what they're waiting on. But I guess they're just being relax i want to say lazy but lazy isn't the word nobody's lazy right <laughs> nobody's lazy but um 
I guess they're just taking their time. I guess they feel like, you know what, there's no rush. They're up there, up there. So, mm, yeah, it is what it is. What? It is. So, yeah. Hey. Oh my God. So y'all going through menopause is a mother. So it's like, I can't eat salty foods. I can't eat sweet foods. Anything is triggering something that is not balanced in me. Uh, whenever I try to eat something sweet or with any sodium in it, I know sodium and sweets are not good for you anyway, but sometimes your girl just wants something sweet to eat. And it has been quite difficult. So, yeah. So I just drink a lot of water. Me? No, I was talking about going through menopause. I thought you said that difficult. I thought you said my husband made it quite difficult. No, I was talking about going through menopause. It's quite difficult. Mm -hmm. See y'all? See? I can't say nothing before he think I'm thinking, talking about him. Maybe I was just having this. Okay. Um, I wonder why people are not taking their things now. I don't know, but I'm taking mine. So, boy, they, their family that we talked yeah. all the time took theirs then. So. I think they starting to take theirs then. They just left a middle. That's how they had it. Prior to. Good. But I'm taking mine. Anyway. Maybe they ain't gonna get off. Maybe some of them at work they won't get off and they probably take them off over the weekend. Um, you gotta put your seatbelt on. Where is it? The one off of Wickham? Yeah. Can you get there in 30 minutes? Yeah, 25. This take 30 minutes. What? Going down this strip. Ooh, we we got a bunch of them. What you see the police slow down? Y'all see that? You didn't call and make an appointment for that car, did you? Nope, I didn't know to. You said that you. All right, but you said all right, but you said no. Um, he was like, I, I'll call what's and see what's going on. Go up there. Um, three, two, one, two. I think that's two five or two six two five four. Seven eight seven nine maybe? I can't see that really. Let me see. Don't worry, but I just I just Google it. Just go ahead. Okay. Lexus of Melbourne, right? Or Vieira. Um, it's a Melbourne. So we're getting ready to go out to Melbourne. Like I said, this is my first time being out since the hurricane. Everything looks good and everything looks the same. And over here, they got some bushes that they, they have cut. I can't talk. They have some bushes they have cut down and seem like they're still all in the stack. Don't look like anything was pretty much blown off for there. It's a whole bunch of it over there. construction I think I filmed a little bit of it I think I did um, there are some alligators in the pond across the street from our home behind the other people the other side homes and they say that there's four over there we saw two of them so don't really know how many is over there but I know we did see two they peep the head up and then go back down peep the head up and then go back down and I think I filmed some of that why don't you just take a picture of it and no, then I'm you can blow it up yeah, I just make sure I got 92 yeah I got it
of service, please. Hey, y'all. So we just made it back from outdoors. Can we I picked up. We picked up some pizza from Pizza Hut. And this is what we got for dinner. And he got him some wings. I got the stuffed crust. I don't eat the sausage, but I'll eat that side with the mushrooms, onions, and bell peppers. And I have a, a um, uh, I have a tea. <laughs> I can't think of the name, um, but I have this tea, which is so good. It is the diet green tea mixed berry oh my god this is so freaking good love that and i am going to fix me a drink Changing out that countertop or not. I'm like, right, when you don't pay for it. Right. So I'm like, okay, y'all. So I got my pizza and I am going to go and edit. Actually, I'm going to bring it in here. Girl is hungry. And I got my tea and I'm good. So I have the love curls in this moisture milk that I am going to try to. Um, do something. So this is what that looked like. Okay, y'all, so I just, oh, I'm like, wait a minute, it's saved already. Uh, okay, so I just finished editing the video, and that should be up tonight. It is 7 o'clock here, 6 o'clock Central Standard Time, so about 8-ish it should be up. It don't take me long to upload it, but I am going to go ahead and get my stuff ready to wash my hair so that I can have that done in the morning and don't have to be bothered with it. So what I came in here for was my towel for my hair. <clears throat> And I am going to get my, my husband be talking so loud outside, be thinking something going on. I'm like, what in the world? So I'm going to get my shampoo, my conditioner, my little massager for my scalp. I actually... I forgot my comb, so I'm going to go in my bathroom and grab my comb, and then I am going to go ahead and do my hair before it get dark. I don't have the energy. <laughs> so right now, I'm sorry. Right now, I have a little energy in me. So I'm going to go ahead and get this taken care of right now. I don't know why my hair's so bouncy because it's so dirty. And yeah. Do this right now because if I sit around and wait and I'm like while my video is downloading I might as well start to wash it that I can get that out the way wait what why is my hair why is this bend not like I love these 
advanced because they absolutely do not pull your hair out. They are different than the other one. These has no end on them. So love these. They really work really good without putting pulling any hair out of your hair. So I am gonna go ahead and start watching while that video is doing that. And so I am using the Miley, I can never pronounce that word, Mill Miley Rosemary Matte Shampoo and Strengthening. I'm using that. And then I'm using Shea Moisture Strengthen and Restore Conditioner. So, and I have the shampoo as well. I like to sometimes mix it. So, we'll see, depending on how I'm feeling when I'm washing it. It's so dirty, y'all, oh my God. Okay, going in, going in.
legs go weak, hey, can you hear it? I think my heart just skipped a beat, yeah. This feeling is getting so strong Love me till the morning, love me all night long There's something special about you You're the one that I want So come on, give me love I'ma show you how to move, how to move with my body Come hit me with your touch And make me wanna say So give me all you got right now I know I'm yours, baby So come give me love You know you're my baby So come give me love I never felt nothing quite like this I get a high every time we kiss Can't get enough, baby So come give me love All of your love Won't you love me till the morning?
Okay guys, so I just finished doing my hair. This is what we have. That light is right there. Let me see. So this is what we have. I just finished it and I'm trying to show y'all the full 360, but I don't know. That light is like right there. Okay, so this is what we have. This is the back. This is the side and this is the front. So yeah. Okay guys, so I did something different. I did some like some pin curls in my hair and they're very loose so i am gonna see how they come out in the morning now my hair may be a hot mess but we're gonna see i'm gonna wrap it up just like this and see how it comes out tomorrow okay we're gonna see stay tuned to tomorrow guys <laughs>